in today's class i am going to explain about how to measure the thickness of the thin material by using air wedge experiment so this is the experiment setup so in a theory part so it is uh, theoretically details shown here that is by the formula using uh, d is equal to lambda into l by 2 beta we have to measure the thickness of the thin wire which is given so instead of thin wire we can use hair also so by use uh, air wedge experiment we can measure thickness of the thin wire or thin hair whatever it is thin band you can measure easily measure but you have to use this formula that is d is equal to lambda l divided by 2 beta so l is nothing but this is the distance between the band and the thin wire which is placed in between the glass plates which will be as shown later so lambda is nothing but it is the wavelength for the source which is we have used in which, which is used in this experiment so beta is the bandwidth for the fringes which we have obtained so by using this formula we can measure the thickness of the thin material so so this is the glass plates so in between the glass plates only we are going to place the thin wire that is we have to tighten this two glass plates by using a band so in one side you have to place the band tightly and in the next side actually don't make any bend in this thin wire because if it is in it is not in a straight portion mode means then the fringes will be it is not in a straight line so it will be a curved one so you have to make sure that it is in straight portion or not so this is the l value that is the distance between band and the thin wire will be give the value of l which is given in the formula okay so now i am going to place this plate under the illumination of the light which is coming from the sodium vapor lamp so already i told that in the formula the lambda is given so the value of lambda for sodium vapor lamp is 5893 armstrong so now i am putting that class plate inside this setup because it is producing a interference pattern that is when the light is incident on this slanting mirror it will be focused by the this it will be reflected on this mirror so here interference pattern is produced so by using this traveling microscope we are going to view the interference fringes which is produced by the thin wire which is placed in between the plates make ensure that uh, whether the lamp that is the light which is produced by the lamp is properly eliminating that wire or not that is the if the elimination is not proper means then we are not getting the interference fringes in a proper manner so by using this screw up and up and down we have to zoom the interference fringes by using this left screw that is the screw we can move the fringes left to right okay so now it is properly placed that is the glass plate so in between the glass plate the thin wire is placed and you know how to make the distance how to measure the distance and you already know the value of lambda so now i am going to measure the value of beta that is bandwidth so here the interference produced like this here
So if you take in right portion means you have to consider in the right side. If you take the reading from left side means you have to take from the left portions. Don't confuse that. Yeah. Now it is coincide well. Yeah. Cannot show that. So after focusing, actually I cannot uh, show the fringes for you. So now I am explaining how I am getting the fringes. That is, in between one line is placed, one black line, that is it indicating the wire. So in, um, in after and before, the fringes are pr produced, that is they are in straight mode. So like this, they are produced. So the difference between straight line and these fringes are, they are in yellow color. So also in left side also, the fringes are produced. So it is in the shape of straight line, that is it is straightly produced, not, it is not in a curved uh, fringes, this is straight fringes, linear fringes we have obtained. So it is going in a countless fringes in both left and right side. Now I am going to explain about how to take the reading. So that, that is in center one bright line is appeared and you have to consider whether you have to take from left side or you have to take from right side. So if you consider right side means so the first line can be taken as N. So N you have to take N for N the fringe you already know how to take the reading from traveling microscope. So, for nth line, what is the value of main scale reading and Wernier scale coincidence? And after multiplying with the least count, it will become Wernier scale reading. Then you have to find the total reading. So, in the same way, you are moving the cross wire from n to n plus 3, n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3 and you have to take the reading for main scale reading, linear scale coincidence. Then you have to move the screw which is present in the traveling microscope to n plus 6 fringe and you have to note down the value of main scale reading, linear scale coincidence. So in the same way you are going to take some consecutive fringes. So up to you have to take n plus 30. So whatever it is, if you want to go through, go for maximum value you can go. But we have stopped up to n plus 30. So from that we have find for each fringe value we have to find the total reading. So uh, from the tabular column we have to put that is bands, nth band or fringes. For nth fringe, what are the total reading? For n plus 3, what are the total reading? n plus 6, what are the total reading? You have to write and you have to measure band width for 6 bands. For that you are subtracting this value from this. And n plus 3 to n plus 9. It is going like this. So for that you are measuring the value here and bandwidth for one band you are dividing each value here by 6. By 6 you are getting this value and you have to calculate mean value for this you have to find the value of beta. So now you know the formula for finding the thickness that is diameter of the given thin wire is lambda L by 2 beta, lambda you know, L you know, beta now we have measured from the tabular column. So substitute all those values and we have to find the value of D. So this is the methodology for finding thickness of the given thin wire by using average experiment. Thank you.